guys, welcome to another episode of Pony 411. This is episode 123 for the week of November 8th. I am Alcatraz, and with me is Nemesis. Hello there. As usual, we have another episode for you. Got a bunch of news, mainly merchandise. <laughs> Got a <laughs> comic to talk about. Got the Discord episode to talk about. Yeah. And some fan content. Let's jump in. First up... If you'd like to follow along with the news, you can find our show notes at pony411.libsyn.com slash show notes. Remember, that's L-I-B-S-Y-N. Let's go there and click the link for this episode. Let's get started. Convention news. PonyCon NYC has announced Andrew Francis and Peter New. They also have a short little video talking about why you should go. Yeah. Yeah. That was a thing. That was a thing. It's styled after a... Attempted to style it after an Old Spice commercial. In fandom news, yet another Pony Creator app is available. This one's for Android. It's a little bit interesting. Mm. Make your OCs. Yes, or try. It's got some interesting permissions, though, that it asks for, so you might want to be careful about that. The next chapter in Them's Fighting Herd's Book of Lore is out. This one's about POM. Like we said last week. Yep. Just pretty much reiterating. Reiterating. PlaySchool's releasing new 6-inch plushies with really big heads. Yes. So they're, yeah. So far they have AJ Pinky and Star Song. Yeah. Not it's, sure why they didn't get another official one, but all right. Whatever. It's weird. I mean, we don't really talk about the play school stuff for the most part because they're, they're for three for very, very, very little kids. But they're plushies. Someone might be interested. Yeah, and they kind of look like baby ponies, pretty much, except not terrifying. Not terrifying. <laughs> not like the so soft stuff. They're interesting, so if you're interested, check them out. New Design and Draw Funrise plushies have popped up on a Romanian website. We've heard a little bits here and there, but now you can't, apparently this site actually has them with yes. images. So yeah, they're Funrise plushies with... Th- you can draw on them, though. They come with little markers. You can draw on your current ones if you want. You, you can, but these ones are designed for it. Yeah, so that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Funko Pocket Pops now have new packaging. These had been in the tins, and now mm-hmm. they have standard blister packaging. So yes. those will be cheaper in store. Well, eventually, right now. Apparently eventually. It's cheaper to get the old version right now on Amazon. Yep. Due to availability, they're currently cheap. The old ones are available cheaper on Amazon, but you should expect them to be cheaper in the stores when yeah, they come a, out. It's so. card. It's there. It's just on cards now. Yep. Some cardboard stuff. Daring Do in the Forbidden City of Clouds is now up on Amazon for pre-order. I believe that's, this is the last That Daring is Do. the third of the Daring Do collection that's now up by itself. Paperback. Yep. A rarity-themed Play-Doh set has popped up on Amazon. No images yet. Nope. So. The last one was Rainbow Dash. Yeah. This bet you this one's going to be fashion or something. Yeah, it's something about molding her hair and a yep. little spinny thing yep. to stuff. They talk about in the description. Turn her hair green. <laughs> The worst possible thing. Celestia Shimmer Flutter Brushables have popped up in Singapore. Apparently, this is the actual name of the Deluxe Wing Brushables we talked about a few weeks back. Yeah, we saw them before. The Twilight has already been revealed. Now we yep. got Celestia. Now we have Celestia. Being, well, the actual full packaging and everything being revealed. Although Shimmer Flutter sounds like a shipping name. Shimmer Flutters. Yes. Although I think the fandom decided on Sunshine. Or sunshine. sunshine or sunshine. Yeah, sunshine or sunshine is what people have sunshine. decided on. But Simmer Flutter <laughs> sounds like someone who doesn't know. Yeah, trying to someone say who's new to it. the shipping scene. The Pinkie Pie Friendship is Magic collection toys are beginning to appear. The Wave 2. Yep. The story packs are showing up at Target and Toys R Us. And the Sweet Shop, which is the Sugar Cube Corner, is up on Amazon. So if you've been looking to collect those, there they are. Yes. You can get a wingless Twilight. Yeah, <laughs> from season one scenes. Yep. Yet again, another Rainbow Dash Hikari figure has appeared. This is a glitterific version, and there's only about 400 of them being made. It keeps happening. Yeah, eventually these exclusives are going to be kind of boring. I mean, you have so many different kinds. The wall of dashes. Who could ever imagine that monstrosity? I know. I would... Who could ever want that? You know, not me at all. I would get it, but this one's almost eighty dollars, and they're not cheap. Except for the fifty-dollar ones, a couple are relatively cheap, ones, but yeah. 
The first wave of articulated pony figures are now listed on Amazon. These include Coco Pamel, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle. But not quite in stock yet. Yes, not in stock yet, but the listings are up. With pictures and everything. Yep. Which you already had, but... Yeah. No longer have to go to Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, and get a whole, the whole wave at once if you don't want the whole wave. GM Barrow's new book, Princess Luna and the Festival of the Winter Moon, is now available. Hooray! Yay! Luna, Luna book. Which Everyone means everyone's going to buy it. Yep. Except me. <laughs> <laughs> and talking about GM Barrow, this one's a bit... Spoilers, run! It's potentially... A new GM Barrow book has been listed on Hachette, and it's a little bit, uh, interesting. It's an untitled, so far, Starlight Glimmer book, but yes. the description is the thing that's a little bit weird. It says it is an original My Little Pony chapter book featuring one of Twilight Sparkle's most notorious pupils. Oh my god! <laughs> So, we're oh. saying Starlight's going to become a pupil of Twilight's. Uh-huh. This is interesting. Although, Although, someone brought up the idea that uh, apparently they refer to all the anta redeemed antagonists as Twilight's put pupils in the books, apparently. Including Trixie. That could be something. <laughs> and... Jim Barrow. Yeah. Yeah, Jim Barrow has said, don't believe everything you read online not entirely certain what this is supposed to mean i don't know i suspect it's the panic of uh someone just dropped information that's going to spoil the future yeah and they're panicking apparently uh jim miller went online after friendship games aired and said no that line at the end was not about the season five finale oh apparently he said that about the time travel line at the end of friendship games interesting he said that and well, so it's it sounds like they're trying to do damage control and doing it in a really, really bad way. Yeah. It's basically, if I were them, it's just I'd keep my mouth shut. Don't yeah, say anything because otherwise you're forced to lie. Yeah. And then people get pissed off and yell and at then, you. And then they don't ever believe you. Yeah. But it's interesting also because the books have never actually had a focus on a villain. By the time a character gets a book, they're either they're either a good guy already or they've been reformed. Like Discord got a book. But not until after he was reformed. And now we have a Starlight Glimmer book, book coming in early next year, so. Hmm. Yeah, you know, a lot of people did predict that it would happen. One yeah, way or I mean, I mean, kind of, that's especially sort of... since we keep hearing things like Starlight's going to be important in the future and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, in which way that's interesting. It's like, does this mean we're going to have a seventh character? Oh, wait, I'm sorry, eighth, because Spike. <laughs> No, you mean ninth because of sun <laughs> sunset? Sunset's in the cluster of girls right now. If she, if it comes balloons to nine, uh, that'd be nice, but don't know if it'll happen or not. I don't know. It might just be ended up a recurring background. What's character. that? You're upset that there's not recurring there's secondary. only one unicorn. We'll have more unicorns. All the unicorns. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along into the other news. The new Pony Kind of Christmas album is now available. Yes. Amazon, Google Play. And iTunes. And iTunes. But it was up for pre-order there already, so, yeah. so... It's out. I haven't listened to it yet, so Neither that's all I. I can really say. I haven't actually sat down and listened to it yet, but... There's, probably, there's ways to listen to it without buying it yet. Yeah. But you should if you enjoy it. Yep. Support. Support the official release. Yeah, it's a weird non-canon, just fun thing. Yep. And some totally not exciting news at all. 4DE is finally sh going to be shipping out the next set of pony plushies in a few days. Probably about a week after you hear this. Yes. Around that. Specifically there's, the 18th. Yeah. There is a countdown timer up on their site for when the shipping begins. Yes. They don't say which ones are shipping, though. There's some speculation that it's only a few of them and not all of them that have been up for pre-order. Yeah. But there's nothing official that says one way or another. I just want my Twilights. I just want my Rainbow Dash. But yeah, there will be finally, finally, shipping. Yeah. guess spring's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little late there, guys. Hopefully it'll be worth the wait. 
Entertainment Earth now has images of the sleepover-themed Equestria Girls mini dolls. Yes. Fluttershy and Twilight. Yep. So they got a bunch of accessories and... and they're in pajamas. Yep. And Fluttershy's got two pets? She's, She's got, got Angel, Angel and, a and a cat. And a cat. And Twilight's got Spike. And Spike. And the laptop. With cat ears. Yes. Everything... For some reason there's cat theming here. I don't know why. I don't know why. But yes. They look interesting. Laptop's the other pet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I can understand that. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> we under- <laughs> In comic news, as usual, a preview of comic issue 36 is up on iTunes. So if you read those, it's up. Hooray. And last bit of news. Friendship is Magic news. We have air dates for the remaining episodes. There will be... Yeah, the finale. Yeah. There will be no breaks. It's airing on the 28th, according to Futon Critic. Because that too, it's dates are screwed up. Yeah. For some reason on that one, it's just it had listed the date that they put the listing up, not the actual date of airing. Unless yep. they did air it and no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that one. I but doubt yeah. that though. I highly, highly doubt that. So Thanksgiving weekend, the finale, or U.S. Thanksgiving weekend. U.S. Thanksgiving. So yeah, that's the news. We had a Discord episode. What about Discord? What about him? Yes. So, a uh, quick synopsis, if I can remember it and not ramble too much. Um, it opens up Twilight and Spike apparently having a three-day weekend, and Twilight's going to reorganize the library and the castle. Mm-hmm. Big book sortation mm-hmm. is what they're going to call it. So basically, they lock themselves away for three days and do that, and they come out, and Rainbow Dash and Discord are having fun and yes. getting along, and that's really weird and they're laughing about weird stuff. Laughing about yeah, really weird inside jokes. Mm-hmm. And well, the day goes on. As Twilight keeps meeting her friends. Keeps meeting her friends and finding out they all had this big fun time with Discord mm-hmm. while they were locked up and got a whole bunch of inside jokes and Twilight's trying to figure out why and keeps going more and more and finally She tries to recreate the It tries what to recreate it with Discord Fails. and it doesn't work and then she's and she finally she comes to the conclusion that no this is impossible they must be under a spell right goes to the the zakora gets a potion to try and break the spell that doesn't do anything it doesn't fix anything and then you know she finally you know gives in and realizes that she's just being jealous Mm -hmm. and well she learned a lesson and that was it yeah sort of sort of there's obviously more but we're obviously more talk about that so yeah this uh, <laughs> this episode, well, I'll, I'll just come out and say it could, probably could have been done a little bit better. I'm, I'm not going to say it's the worst episode. Um, there's definitely been worse out there. But it, it was, uh, it's really hard to say, you put it in exact words. The jokes got t- kind of tiring, really. Mm. <laughs> For me, it was just very uneven and all over the place. It, it just... I didn't, Incon- I didn't, and inconsistent. I didn't feel as much inconsistency with it, but yeah, I, I just it just didn't feel as I don't know. Yeah, it's just this is this. I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, this is the writer's second outing. His last one was Princess Spike, which is which yeah, is why not, when people found out that out about this ranking. episode, everyone was like, "Uh oh." Yeah, he doesn't so far have a, that great of a track record. That's two for um, two where he's not doing too hot. I had several problems with this episode, honestly. It's one of the weakest. I think it's it's down right down there with Princess Spike for me. It's not as bad as Princess Spike, but because just because that's Spike focused and that just kind of loses point. But this one is just they Discord wasn't as interesting as it usually is. Twilight's often out of character for whatever reason. And the f- remaining five are often just it feels like they're extra stupid. Yeah, it, and it, it just and it just there's like a lot of nothing happens. There's there's a lot of talking and blah. Yeah, it's it's a bit interesting. I'm not entirely certain. She's Twilight does act out of character for her current status. She acts more like early Twilight yeah. with her freakout bits. She almost went into it's almost a season one Twilight. Yeah, much. almost season one, season two. It's almost like she got completely reverted here. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, what you say about everyone else. And they didn't realize what was going on until the very, very end, and it was all of a sudden. It's like, yeah, it's just 
there's yeah there's this is the thing was uh we find out at the end discord was just being a petty jerk about to twilight for the sort entire of. episode no, not sort of he was well yeah he was, he being was a, a petty jerk. jerk the entire time it, it's a bit interesting um on that particular part with how discord's acting i want to say though i can't say it completely because i wasn't as into star trek um from this is very much discord acting like his inspiration q but he's not he's, Q. Uh, I know he's not, but it seems like that's really what this one was pushing for because Q did the whole thing where he was a jerk and did things to Picard in order to teach Picard a lesson, which is pretty much what happened here. Although it, it's just, yeah, it, it painted Discord in a really bad light. A really bad light. Especially since this, is, this almost feels like it was supposed to be a season four episode and then was pushed back to season five for whatever reason because he's acting pre-season four finale as in he's not totally reformed type thing yeah it's like because he did the same thing in um three's a crowd but at the time we were expecting it but here it's like he should know better he's yeah. he's like oh it's like at first it was just to be to help you know it's just I was, uh, twilight oh he's like oh twilight didn't want to be disturbed okay i'll be nice and not disturb her and then now that she's upset about it he's decided to rub it in her face well, i didn't even think he started doing that right off the get-go right with rainbow right with yeah. rainbow dash it was the whole he, he's he's jabbing at her yeah at her. And it's, it's kind of like, weird and petty it is and it's like why i mean he's not like he hasn't done this before but, so we he's, we got but then, this. again it's a, it's a sign of regression to yeah. for another character it, it really feels like a whole bunch of the actions here have regressed it's like it was written way early yeah or, or the writer just, just wasn't didn't paying attention pay attention which i suspect is the case of the writer just didn't know better it, it could be. This I mean, is he, is, he is a brand new it. writer. Yeah. This is so twice I, now we he's can kind of give a little bit of grace though. there. Um, the other thing with the characters, um, and I've seen this complaint a few times, where the compare characters didn't notice Twilight's distress. Yeah. One, or, or didn't notice Discord being a jerk. Um, I feel, though, is most of these are excuses and justifications, which are bad. But one of the things I've seen is maybe those are intended for the audience and not for the characters i've seen that where the characters yeah. don't notice things because they're not intended to notice them but the viewers are but it's yeah. not very good writing no it's not because it's very it's very clear that discord is up to something yeah although most most the of the time it was the, the way you could tell he was being a jerk and jabbing at twilight it is is not the words that he uses but his tonality yeah his tone, his tone which, and his and you would like pick that. up on that it's like these characters you think would pick up on... Although I have seen a few times in a few different episodes where the characters don't pick up on yeah. tone. But not just by this writer. bad about it. But this one was like, yeah, he's, he's definitely being a jerk and they don't notice. So it makes me wonder where if it was intended for the audience is supposed to know, and but the characters aren't. A common criticism I've also seen about this one is basically... The audience is kind of, this is pretty much from Twilight's perspective, so the audience is kind of with Twilight and why is this so funny? I don't yeah. get it. Yeah, which again, I can kind of understand, but it just wasn't. It, 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 but the problem is when you do that, the audience just is sitting there like, I don't understand. They're just get as annoyed as Twilight actually is. Yes. And when the t audience is annoyed, that's not good. Yeah. Because they're just like sitting there like, for 20 minutes, like, why are you doing this? What? Mm -hmm. I'm, this is this makes sense, and this is just getting annoying, and that's what Twilight was feeling the yeah. entire time. Which I can understand the intent of that to some degree. I just think the execution well, was a that's, bit that's flawed. the problem. You can't just do that to the audience. You can't just annoy them for twenty minutes. You have no. to entertain them. No, but I can understand the, the idea of putting them in in the shoes of the of the character you're focusing yeah. on. But it just wasn't done as well as it should have been. You don't want to straight up annoy and like them. This, and someone, you want and to get this them is to something. Understand. Twilight's. She's talking about how she's the princess of friendship. She shouldn't be getting jealous and stuff. And it's like this is this is part of why I'm saying out of character because we've seen before Twilight's like her whole thing is I'm not that I'm not better than any other pony. I yeah. You know, she always goes this really humble. I don't really deserve this type of stuff. Or but here she's all of a sudden like she she's the whole I have to live up to this title. Attitude, I, I, it feels like almost is, like she's being potty about it like she did, i didn't quite get the almost I, the quite that, that's why i'm saying out of character it's just, the, it's to just, me it felt more like the i have to live up to these expectations that's not what it felt like is the problem it, it, it i think it was supposed to be what it's 
this come across, but it feels like she's trying to say, no, I am better than this. I don't do this doesn't happen to me. I'm too good to do this. Yeah, I didn't quite get that. That's much, what it felt uh, like a lot when she was trying to excuse why she oh, I don't get jealous type stuff. I mean, there was some funny bits here and there. I liked the Back to the Future reference a lot. That I will was say, the best, right before we got... That was probably the there best was part. Quite a few. There were quite a few funny references. But there's also but like the Bob Ross say, thing, too. I will say most of these funny gags are visual gags. Yeah. And not to do with writing. Nothing to do with the writing, yeah. Well, it, it, since you brought it up, let's let's talk about some of the funny stuff. So let's let's get away from some yeah, bad. Let's yeah. talk about some of the funny stuff. Back so, to the like future you said, reference. there was a Back to the Future reference. I love that. It's like because it's they, like because they, they, <laughs> talking about she needs to see it for herself. I was my first th- thought was that, oh time travel. Everyone's and first then, thought probably, but they and then boom lampshade that one. Like boom, no, Pinky no time and the travel. Best. Hey, let's say, yeah. So basically, hey, let's make this episode boring. <laughs> no. And then it, Bob Ross thing. Yes, they did which twice. Is, so that's two references are actually oddly time, timely. Timely. Very oddly timed because we just had that big, big Bob, Bob Ross, Ross and then Back to the Future's big anniversary just yeah. happened. So Future that was Day like, just oh, happened. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, and I love they almost nailed the reference perfect the second time when Discord's mm-hmm. talking about you know how the jealousy was um, a secondary thing. They used the phrase, "It was just a happy accident." Yes, all they had to do was add "little" in there. It would have been perfect. It's just a yeah. happy little accident. Yeah, that- another one right in the beginning. Discord hit ludicrous speeds. Yes, he yes, went plaid because <laughs> spaceballs. Yep, spaceballs reference right off yep. the front. I did like the the one I think um writing joke that was kind of funny just because it's like this spike coming out after three days and what's that big <laughs> yellow thing in the sky? How it's many like, of us have made that joke in real life? Oh, what's that giant have, thing? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe har, a gamer. Har, har, yes. <laughs> Another one that's actually a writing thing, and this one is actually really subtle. Mm-hmm. During the at the end of the whole lunch scene where they're trying to recreate it, they sort of reference the quantum observer effect. Oh yeah, the whole if you observe it, it changes. Yeah, yeah. They they sort of made a reference. So it's like that's a really I get subtle that. thing. It is really almost really subtle. I almost but, said that's almost unintentional. But yeah. Oh, also crazy straws. Yeah, crazy straws. That why was not? great. Crazy straws. She's got crazy straws. Why not? Although I did, I remember that, speaking of the lunch thing, I remember that. Oh, hey, what does Discord do? He pulls out the chair for Fluttershy. Just Fluttershy. Just Fluttershy. It's like, mm, this is that thing going. Shippers. <laughs> oh, another little, a little back reference, visual one. Um, at the very, very end, when Discord shows up at the castle in his fishing outfit, mm-hmm. on his side, yeah. there's a little jar with smooths in it. Oh, a yeah. Smooths in a, in a jar. Yeah. So. There was, there was a bunch of little visual gags. Yeah, little visual things, but uh, most of the writing just fell flat at best. Yeah. It was it was disappointing. A lot. Very that, that's, disappointing. I Especially, wanted it let's to be, be honest, better. That's, a lot of people said, I expect not to be bored during a Discord episode, and a lot of people got bored. Yeah. I think... Yeah, it Which really was, I think, the same complaint against jokes. Princess Spike was it kind of got boring. Yeah. It sounds like this writer's just not cut out for this show. Or he's got some work to do. He's really got to step up his game if he wants to keep on. Wouldn't surprise me if at this point it's a uh, he might be he might have been if he I hope really hoping he's not really uh, at this point to the point of I'm hoping he's not on for season six. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's because not scheduled it's, for it's, any other episodes this season because it's almost over. Yeah, and it's just it's just really like oh, both yeah. times now. Not like this well isn't received. like all the writers who did they unfairly get a bad rap. This is like no, he's well twice now he's blown it. Yeah, he, he he didn't do a very good job. However, that doesn't mean you can threaten him. No, don't do that. Please stop. Ugh. Yeah, some people have threatened him. Some people d- did give him actually good criticism, but he still struck yeah, he's it not off. he's not very good with criticism. But he didn't, he, still notice. doesn't mean you should threaten him, people. No. Please stop that. No. That goes for anyone. Yeah. There was another thing that oh, yeah. happened. Little background thing. Blink and you'll miss it. Yeah, blink and you'll miss it. Um, in one hey, of look, the scenes, in one of the bushes. There's binoculars. With Yeah, with binoculars. is none other than... And the hair. There's a hair bun thing sticking up over that bush. Yes. It's purple. Yes. And green. Yeah. Well, teal, but yes. Teal, whatever. <laughs> Starlight glimmer. Again, up again. I'm still background. wondering if she's in some other episode. We just didn't notice. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet because this is only the second time we've like yeah. big, like 
This Sarah one's Starlight. interesting though, in that you know she's at, she's in Pony she's though. spying. Yeah, spying. She is spying. On it. Not spying. like the last one where she just was reading a menu. Although in, it's in pretty obvious, she's spying. Yeah, but this one is even more. Yeah, she's literally you know using binoculars watching them. So I'm wondering if this is going to come into play later. This has got to uh, this has got to come into play, and how well, this is going to like well, I'm considering what we these. know about the finale. Yeah. Oh, it's going to come into play at some point. Also, I'm wondering... Even if it's just a line of, I've been watching you. Yeah. Also, this made me a little bit curious. Discord, trying to teach Twilight a lesson. I'm wondering if how important that is. Yeah. Because he's done it before. Yeah. Where he's like, okay, I'm, I could fix this for you, because I know exactly what's going on, but I'm not going to until you learn the lesson. I'm wondering if these lessons are important. If they're going to come into play later, I'm not certain how. I don't. I think this time was just. But it would be interesting. I don't think this time Discord's "I'm going to teach you, trying to teach you a lesson" thing is really going to work out because what I, I think contra- comparing this to um, make new friends but keep Discord. Then we he had a reason to be a jerk. Yes, he had a good reason. He was upset because he felt ignored he was, by Fluttershy. Yeah, he was jealous. He yeah. was a jealous one. He was now jealous. He's turning around, except and this time Twilight. he's just being a jerk just for the sake of being a jerk. Because oh, this is funny. This is funny to watch someone beat themselves, you know, torment themselves. So I'm just gonna keep watching. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 disappointing. It's, yeah, I, I, I will say be this better. is actually just overall, this is just a really low point for the season. Really close to Princess Spike, in that it's way down there. And it's only saving grace is just a couple things which weren't even the right, probably weren't even the writer. It's probably the storyboard artists. Yeah. Because a lot of it just fell flat again, just because you're just it's all since it's so Twilight's perspective heavy, you just like you just get as annoyed as Twilight is, and it just at least finally is at the end, you know, oh, like Discord gets this comeuppance, yeah, at the very, 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 very end. end, but it's like that's not worth the 20 minutes of agitation, yeah, they could have done it a lot better. It was just Kind of disappointing. Yeah, I wish it was I better. It to I be mean, better. it's I was really hoping for it's, better. What's sad is it's pretty much the weakest Discord episode we've got. It is. Oh well. Yeah. It happened, and hopefully the last few episodes will be great. Yeah. We've got three, four more because of the two-part finale. Yeah, we've got. Uh... We got Twilight and Fluttershy. For yeah. The Who feels in the cult? Who feels in the cult? And we got, we got the Lena one, Hall episode, which I can't remember the name of that. Yeah, one. which is Applejack centric, apparently. And then we and got then the finale. The remark. We're almost at the end. We're almost yeah, at the end of the almost season. Almost the season. Hopefully, Three more after weeks. that, season six won't be 11 months away. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do if that was the case. Not again. No. Hopefully, it's just like four or five months yeah. at most. A standard season break. Yeah. So, what would be coming back in March or April, hopefully. Yeah. Maybe we should start watching LPS because that actually did get another season. It did? No. Yeah, I the premiere coming, just I thought, aired. Last I checked, it was going to end. The season four premiere just aired, oh, apparently. Last I checked, season four is its final season, though. Yeah. Well, well, from what I'm hearing, the premiere just aired, so. Oh, well. Yeah, but that's that's all I have on the, the episode. Yeah. So, I guess we can move on. We have a comic to talk about. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and take that away. Yeah, this one is Friends Forever number 22. It's about Pinky and Celestia. And it's written by Christina Rice and drawn by Jay Fosgett. And in this, well, Pinky and Twilight are called to Karen a lot to help, because Celestia wants help to, for a party for Luna. Twilight's supposed to organize, like, a big old thing about Luna's accomplishments, and Pinky's making a cake. Problem is, Pinky feels overwhelmed. Yep. That's the synopsis. This was an okay comic, in my opinion. It, 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 Fosgate, apparently, as I found out recently, he's actually pretty controversial with his art style. Apparently. Like I know you and I kind of like it, and apparently a lot of people really do not. It's different. Uh, the writing is passable for the most part. It there's a couple. It's, I think the biggest disappointment is it's supposed to be Pinky and Celestia, but it winds up being mostly Pinky with a little bit of Celestia. Yeah. And then there, of course, there's the recent thing about the clip art cutie mark. Yeah, you didn't draw the one cutie mark. You just grabbed it off a uh, image. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I don't think is that big of a deal. I mean, I can understand why Although, some people are upset. Although, apparently it might be a legal problem. It could be, depending on what the licensing is on now, the image. Someone looked at the licensing for this particular clip art. That they, they, they were, you're not allowed to use it for commercial use. Unless they relicense. Yeah. You, there's almost always an ability to say, hey. Possibly. It's possible he pay just he got the, the license for it. We don't know. Yeah. It's very They possible. don't exactly publish with that. 
But if they, he just grabbed it without getting the license, that could be a lot of legal problems. That could be. Yeah. For IDW. But I think there is one criticism I do agree with on the art, which is he did not do a very good job with drawing Celestia. <laughs> There's this bit where she's sitting down, you're just like, the legs, what? the, the, the world, the legs are a bit strange. The the extra long legs of Celestia and neck, I should say, yeah. don't exactly meld with his art style. unique art style. Yeah, it 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 lo- winds up looking very strange, like her legs are broken. Yeah, like spaghetti legs. It, it, it's not great. And everything else, though. Yeah, everything else. I think it still works for the most part. It's just. Just like I said, Celestia. I, I still do it's, like his especially art Especially since, again, Celestia's supposed to be a major thing, and that's the big problem, though. Celestia doesn't really just appear wasn't. for a yeah. large... Pre- it's like, you expect more from Celestia and Pinky interacting, and that doesn't really happen. But hey, who, who did the writing on this one? Christina Rice. Rice, okay. Yeah, I was, I was hoping for a little bit more Celestia, but... Because this was... It feels... Like this was supposed to be a feels episode. Sort of. I mean, because you, know, you get the what Celestia talks about with about Luna near the end. Yeah. But it doesn't really play that out as much as yeah, it feels it like of, it wanted to. It kind, yeah. of fell, it kind of fell short of what its goals were. Yeah, that that's what it feels like. Is it, and again, it's not bad, but... It, it, Celestia doesn't come into pl- really come into play until like halfway through, because before that she was just kind of her standard, I need you to do this and I'm going to go whatever for a while. Yeah, I mean, there's a few places where it felt like it was... Um, kind of start something funny and then didn't yeah it just it kind like of the hovering like it's it's okay but like, i'm it's yeah. one of those Maybe for four dollars for four dollars actually at that point i would say almost wait for a sale or something at the for this one yeah unless you're really set on fosket yeah unless you're really set on just having them all or whatever just at this at this one i would say wait for a sale yeah it's all right but not nothing particular no don't go out of your way go get it yeah that's the comic we just kind of have a downer of an episode this week, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, hopefully the music is... <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, fan content. I've got another three songs. So, and these are... I've got a slower set this week. We'll start it off with... One doesn't say slower. Slower. One doesn't necessarily say, say slower either. Some of them are still pretty high Well, yeah, tempo. but they still have the under... We'll, we'll get into it. <laughs> it's slower than my standard fare. 240 beats per minute. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just replace everything with Dragon Force and Happy Hardcore next time, just to make yeah. you happy. So yeah, let's let's start this off. The first one I found was Just This by Fluffy Kitty Music. first time i've listened to their music but it's this one isn't super slow this is a D song so yeah um i like how it has that nature bit you know it's got the nature sounds in the beginning yeah. and the end and it's also got that vinyl faux vinyl thing of crackle yeah that it, it's it's the whole D B. so it's got the fast fast beats mm-hmm. But it still does have relaxing undertones, mm-hmm. which d has a tendency to do. It's upbeat, yet still relaxing. Somehow they manage to pull that off. And that's one of the reasons I, I, I like it. Yeah, This song, yeah, you, like I said, it's very mellow, very chilled out song. But I, to me, I honestly also kind of felt very basic. Like, there's nothing particularly special about it. It's just, it's a very run-of-the-mill, just not much is done. It's like, okay, let's just do this and... Yeah, so it's just mm, not much to really say about it other than that. Yeah. The reason's at the top. The next one I have, From the Ashes by Arvianth.
this is an orchestral song. It's also instrumental only, so you know it's not pony related. It's pony related. It's inspired by an image of the burnt out treehouse, the library, old Golden Oaks Library. This one, I I like really like this one. I love the strings, and the the violin and such. It has a lot of emotion. It feels. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got that that bittersweet lost with but it has that hope in mm-hmm. there as well which fits the image that it was inspired by yeah. and i really like that well the song thematically fits with the title hope well, that's just good yes <laughs> i've seen songs where it doesn't fit at all and you're like what and yeah. i'm just lost and i do like the bar- part way through the music really like swells and gets really big because mm-hmm. it's pretty like downplayed initially it, it yeah it's builds. got a lot of Movement. Then you, then there's this point where it really builds. Yeah. It's which got is a like lot the, of movement in the, the, the song, hopeful so. part. Which is, I like it. Yeah. It's good. If you like orchestra stuff, it's really good. Last one I have is It Isn't by DJT. This it one, what? Huh? It isn't what? It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't the right character if you look at his YouTube. <laughs> Maybe that's the joke. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> say it's a joke, but that could be. But yeah. Um, this is, this is a nice chill step. And I definitely think this one fits. This is a good example of what chill step should be. It's got a really good flow and beat and rhythm to it where it has the sort of faster, not, super fast but it's got the the beat to it but it keeps its chill and its chill step undertones yeah yeah so. i like i like the piano bits in it those are pretty nice and um it's it's an odd combo of heavy but mellow i love those it's a weird combo it's hard to pull off yeah it is because it's I like when you go when heavy you, you tend to want to go fast too and frantic and well no this one's heavy but it still is very mellow and flowing Mm-hmm. So it was also an interesting and pretty good song too. And it used Twilight, so you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> it was Twilight, even though the YouTube shows Applejack. <gasps> so yeah, that's that's the music I have for this week. So throw it back to you for any fanfic, fanfic stuff. stuff. Well, this one's different. Yeah, I don't have an actual fanfic to feature this week. I do have an update later, but. Uh, this I'm, I want to talk about a little bit. Fim fiction, if you probably noticed, you might not have noticed, but fim fiction is a bunch of new tags on it, big thanks to a uh, user poll and whatnot. This, so they have a whole bunch of new tags for the stories, including new character tags and whatnot. So stuff like notable ones: uh, Apple Family, Bat Pony, Dragons, Z- Yaks, Zebras. Those are new tags. They got the stuff like uh, Clover the Clever, Commander Hurricane, uh, a bunch of the new. New characters who have been showing up, so like Moon Dancers now there, Sassy Saddles, Tree Hugger. They haven't had character tags for a while, so people have just been using other character. Yeah, and oh, Stephen right, Stephen Magnet now has a yeah, oh tag, right. and the Smooths, the Smooths, Equestria uh, Girls stuff has a bunch of stuff has been added there, like Dazzlings just as a group, like group stuff. Main Seven Shadow Bolts, uh, you know the Sunset Shimmer Demon form has been added. Uh, Human Twilight's been added. Vice Principal Luna, Spike the dog, you know, just to help differentiate between the two versions. So we know what we can block. Or a uh, yeah. for It helps differentiate between <laughs> the two versions because they're now distinct characters, not just a new version of the same character for the most of them. So comic characters who don't appear in the mo- in the show or whatever, uh, renaming. So like Doctor Who's his cha- name has been re- cha- heard in his name's the new spelling without the W. Colgate is now Minuet because officially. Yes, Carrot Tops, Golden Harvest. Uh, DJ Pwn3 is now just Final Scratch. Uh, they've added, this is the one that I want to, this, they've added a whole bunch of new categories. Second Person, which a lot of people really don't like, so they added that tag. Drama, Equestria Girls, so you don't have her used to human tag, just because it's Equestria Girls. 
horror, mystery, sci-fi, and thriller. Those are brand new tags for your thriller. stories. So we can have a yeah. Michael Jackson stuff. Yes. <laughs> and they've also added two other tags, which are just because these kind of stories keep popping up. Anon and self-insert. Anon. Self-insert. So we can yes. just say block. <laughs> yes, block that. Although I have suspect a lot of people won't be trying to use those. And hopefully moderators will go, <clears throat> you have to use that tag. Yeah. Because there's some blatant, really bad Self self-inserts. Insert, like I said before. Self-inserts aren't inherently bad. Just 99% of them. It's just self-inserts almost invariably become Mary Sue's, yes. which are bad. Yeah, so that's, those are nice little tags so you can now really, there's more filtering to go through if you want to, so you can really find stuff and people are already taking advantage of them and changing out tags and adding new ones as they need to because, oh, hey, this story is supposed to have a lot of drama in it. Speaking of which, like Fractured Sunlight. That got an update, and they've he's already added the drama and Equestria Girls tags to it because those fit, as yep. we know. <laughs> Remove the human. Yeah. Uh, yeah, new chapter number 10, I guess. Yes, number 10, because the prologue counts as whole, its own thing. <laughs> and this one, Twilight and Sunset wind up alone together, and then <laughs> a wonderful thing happens at the end. <laughs> a wonderful thing, as you say. <laughs> Although, I suspect because of how it ended, it's going to be angst and or drama in the next chapter. Oh. Boy, <laughs> what a cliffhanger, though. Yeah, it's a nice cliffhanger, but damn, what's gonna? I'm just hoping next? he doesn't go down the the typical cliches oh. of this genre with that sort of thing. The whole what are you doing? The, the the weird, awkward, like three chapters, just awkwardness before things are resolved type yeah. thing. I really hope he doesn't do- go down that road. But Hopefully there is not. stuff that still needs to happen, like uh, Twilight has to sort through herself because of the past. Like, is she just uh, transplanting her feelings? Yeah. And stuff like that. So, it's interesting. And it <laughs> has a potential for the next chapter to be very interesting, too. As long as I just hope he doesn't, again, just doesn't go down the road of just cliche after cliche after cliche. Yeah. I figured you'd like this chapter, though. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Nothing else. That's it. That's it for you. That's yeah. it for me. That's it for the episode. Hooray. Yeah, so here we are at the end once again. So, if you liked what you heard and you want to listen to more, you can find all of our episodes, past, future, present, at pony411.libsyn.com. You can find us on iTunes as well. Just search for Pony411. For there, click subscribe. Yay, happy days. You can also find us on Stitcher. (laughs) Yes, now I have the song stuck in my head, too. Anyway, you can find us on Stitcher, Stitcher.com, or the mobile apps. Just search for us on there. You can also find us on YouTube, youtube.com slash pony411. Let's go watch our videos there, like, subscribe, and comment. You can also listen to us on Ponyville FM. We air there every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, so tune in. We're also on Ponyville Live. Whenever we update on YouTube, we'll show up there as well. Ponyvillelive.com. Yep, go there. If you want to. Can't make you. Or can we? <laughs> no, we can't. If you would like to contact us, you can email us. We are pony411podcast at gmail.com. So send us criticisms, comments, suggestions, whatever you like. Send it there. Tell us we were too harsh. Tell us something. I don't know. Tell us we weren't harsh enough. Oh, I'm pretty sure someone would. <laughs> Let me just look at some other comments. Those are pretty harsh. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash pony411, so you'll like us there whenever we post new episodes or things, we'll post it there. You can also find us on Twitter, we are at pony411. So go follow us there, tweet us there, that's our primary point for quick communications. Mm -hmm. See us there. You can also contact us on our personal Twitter accounts, I am at Alcatraz. The seven instead of a T and an underscore at the end, and he is at Nemesis Prime One. Paula Fourth coming. It is. It is. I won't be getting it day one, that's for sure. I may or may not be. Go follow us on our personal Twitters and tweet us. See us tweet about stuff, maybe, eventually, if I ever use it more. I'll respond, I swear. That's the end. I hope you tune in next week. Who feels in the cults? But. Until then, please, pony responsibly. Bye. See ya.